So do you remember when Jamie Dimon said, I've always been deeply opposed to crypto, Bitcoin, etc. If I was the government, I'd close it down. Well, he's at it again. Bitcoin, I've always said it's a fraud. It's a Ponzi scheme. And this is absolutely hilarious because Jamie came groveling over to Big Uncle Larry. That's right, BlackRock's Larry Fink. Please let me be a part of your Bitcoin ETFs. Dimon and JP Morgan's hypocrisy knows no bounds. Definitely doesn't in there. Oh no, they're betting against Bitcoin after the halving. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Oh, and not to mention, Chase Bank is bragging about spying on their customers. This is massive and arguably the best advertisement for Bitcoin in U.S. history. Party, party, that Let's go ahead and check out this article. Chase Bank launches Chase Media Solutions, a new digital media business connecting 80 million U.S. customers with the brands they love. Oh, how sweet. They're just connecting people. Who doesn't want to be connected, right? They should call it hugs and kisses. From George Orwell. Do you want to live in a world where Jamie Dimon is the master of the universe? <laughs> No, thank you, right? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Like the kid in second grade who told you the Easter Bunny was a scam. The banks are not your friends. And when they say we're connecting you with the brands, what they mean is they'll be taking your financial data and selling it to all those brands you love so much. Then your loving custodian Chase Bank will give you 0.01% interest on your accounts while collecting 4-6% from those brands that, well, don't love you very much. They need to take your financial data and what they're going to do with that financial data is use it to show you targeted advertisements. Here's a great quote. Having long served as a trusted guide for their financial decisions. Wait, hold on. Okay, gentlemen, another, another scenario. You're a bank. We put money there. You don't have shit to say about how anyone spends it, right? Right? With Chase's own transaction data, brands and agencies can precisely target you and customers at scale based on their purchase history. So if you thought that when you buy stuff that the banks are not telling other people what you're buying in exchange for your money that you don't get a share of, well again, I hate to break it to you. At least with YouTube, the ads are annoying, but you get free video hosting, and at least there is value you get in exchange for the ads. When you go to a news website, you have ads everywhere, but at least you get something for it, even if you don't like the ads bombarding you from banks surveilling you. You don't get jack shit. Basically, you just get fucked. They sell your data. This is not gonna be managed by adorable little kittens. More so like getting managed by this little kid from the Twilight Zone. You're a bad man. You're a very bad man. Really, what does this mean? Well, think of a system that feeds on and promotes the worst aspects of you, of society. The most harmful and addictive products 24-7, almost like some version of Ready Player One. Think about that, because all you have to do is align the incentives. We will be managed by an AI that simply wants to see how to get engagement. It will not give two shits if it destroys society. It wants engagement. And that is going to be the reality in a future where you have no privacy. No one has been on top of this more than the great Whitney Webb. Palantir is to be a relaunch of the Total Information Awareness Program that we've talked about on the show before, TIA. They said it would eliminate civilian privacy throughout the United States. Total Information Awareness is what they always wanted, and that's surveilling everyone for everything, and it's surveilling people at the biological level. Like, it was also about financial surveillance. It was surveilling what you buy at the grocery store. That is literally what they are doing again. And it's a mix of public entities and private entities that are all in these uh, involved in these opaque partnerships so it, it's not one clearly defined program at DARPA like it was originally supposed to be. But the goal is to completely erode privacy, to completely surveil everything and prevent X before it happens. X being literally anything they don't want to happen or say they don't want to happen. Sick and tired of this Tom Green bit becoming 
reality. So how are we going to evolve as a species with all this new technology taking over our lives? It's going to change our, our physical appearance, right? Think about it. We started out thousands of years ago. We were, we were Cro-Magnon man. We were Neanderthal man, punched over, and then we evolved, and we, we stood up. We became tall. We became human beings. We became tall. We're beings were tall. We're tall. We start text messaging. Don't really need our legs anymore. Our legs are going to start to retract into our bodies. Don't really have to go anywhere. Our arms are going to retract into our bodies. Our mouths, we won't need them to communicate. They're going to shrivel up into these straw-like poobs. We'll, we'll, we'll suck vitamins through them. Applesauce. Applesauce. We'll become these Jabba the Hutt type blobs with nothing left. Nothing but two muscular, elongated, rapidly flapping text messaging thumbs. You know, with all this going on, with uh, Jamie Dimon wanting to be the master of the universe, very ironic that the banks are, well, not fiscally responsible. So you've got the Federal Reserve, which really is a bank for the wealthy. Right. I mean, it's, it's a bank for the banks and a bank for the wealth. That's who they work for. They don't work for the U.S. for citizens. We, it's time people understood that. And Jamie, the shifts, the rest of the fudsters, the banks, they're all after your Bitcoin. It's blatantly obvious, but unfortunately, Jamie, we all get Bitcoin at the price. We deserve. Bitcoin itself is a is a hyped up fraud. It's a pet rock. You're back to that? Uh, yeah, really? Of course, yeah. Number one, I don't care. So just please stop talking about this shit. I don't know what he would say about blockchain versus currencies that do something versus Bitcoin that does nothing. Gold really doesn't do anything either. Yeah, but gold's limited in the supply. So is Bitcoin. And it's been used. Uh, so you think so, huh? I do. I think there's a good chance that when Bitcoin when we get to that to 20 million bitcoins, million, go to that, 42. no, that Satoshi's going to come on there, laugh hysterically, go quiet, and all bitcoins going to be erased. Jamie Dimon, the banks in the state are losing and continue to provide the greatest advertisements imaginable to use Bitcoin. Now, before we show you why all of this is leading to a Bitcoin renaissance, a great awakening amongst the public to the great question, what is money is happening. But before that, let's take a minute to recognize our sponsors, the Bitcoin way, because taking self-custody, getting our Bitcoin off exchanges has never been more important. Simply Bitcoin originals are powered by the Bitcoin way. They bring over 25 years of cybersecurity experience. They are your IT team in the Bitcoin world. They help bridge that gap from the why Bitcoin to the how Bitcoin. And as your dedicated Bitcoin IT team, the Bitcoin way is here to guide you from start to finish on your journey to properly self-custody your Bitcoin. From your first wallet and node to advanced multi-sig security, inheritance planning, and much more, the Bitcoin way has got you covered and they will hold your hand and walk you through the process toward becoming a sovereign individual. Hey, and if you're looking to get started, you can book a free 30 minute consultation using that link below. Hey, MMT is not good for you and me. I mean, look at these deficits. Look at the amount of money spent just to pay the interest, the interest on the national debt. And you know, with banks spying on me, the dollar and fiat going to zero, not to mention Bitcoin being the best performing money or asset in history. I think I'm going to go with this guy. Pay me in Bitcoin or hey, pay yourself in Bitcoin. Check out this clip from Fox Business where UFC fighter Renato Mocano says he wants his MMA bonus paid in Bitcoin and talks about Austrian economics on Fox Business. This is awesome. You want to get paid your MMA bonus in Bitcoin, right? 100%. That's a huge part of the Austrian economic school, right? Supply and demand and scarcity. And I think Bitcoin represents that. The, the Bitcoin, even though it's, it's dropping a little bit, I think it's a, it's a defense against the tyrant state. is a defense against inflation too, because eventually it's going to go up because everybody's knowing what Bitcoin is. The dollar is losing value because the interest rates, because because the government keeps uh, printing money, right. keep doing handouts, keep doing welfare to the people. They are not trying to control the supply of the money. They are always printing more. So I think that's going to be beneficial to Bitcoin. He also did it in the ring. I love the Constitution. I love the First Amendment. I love it. Profit, property. And let me tell something. If you care about your fucking country, I'll read Ludwig von Mises and the six lessons of the Austrian economic school, motherfuckers. People are waking up and beginning to understand if we want to be free, voting harder will not cut it. What we have to do 
is separate the money from state. And by adopting the Bitcoin standard, you're going to see your life become brighter and more bullish than ever. Come join the peaceful revolution. Hey, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share that sound money gospel. I'll catch you all next time. Peace. If you prefer to go down with the ship, fuck you.